Oh, sorry, love. Got a bit distracted there. Wasn't paying attention to where I was going. Oh, dear. Why don't I help you get fixed up? Uh, is something wrong, love? You don't seem terribly well. In fact, you almost look like you've seen a ghost. I said I was sorry, didn't I? If not, I apologize. But aside from that, have I said or done something to offend you? Oh, hey now. There's no need for shoving. You're causing a bit of a scene and I'm not even sure why. What's the matter? Right. Is that it, then? What say you and I chat about this in private? Why not here, where everyone can see? No offence, love, but... I fear some people might think you're mad if they hear you talking like this. I won't do anything to harm you while we're alone, unless you act vindictively first. Come along, shall we? You don't have to act so repulsed by me. Really, I'm not going to harm you. So you say you know what I am. Then what am I? <laughs> Not surprised that you're correct. Name's Ronald Knox, the next die-hard reaper. Yeah, that was... a bit bad, wasn't it? Sorry, but my boss, old man Sutcliffe, has been saying that I need my own catchphrase. What do you think of it? Stupid, yes, I do agree. But it's the best I've got so far. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a joke about death with that catchphrase. More so a joke about what I do, and how I came to do it. No, no, my apologies for interrupting, love, but I'm afraid you must have us mixed up with demons. Reapers? We're more neutral than anything. Although some could call us good, some could call us bad. Generally speaking, we try to be impartial. All we do is collect souls of those who are meant to die. We don't steal souls. We don't eat souls. We don't torture souls. Nor do we reward souls that were... How shall I put it? I believe humans say pure when describing souls, correct? Angels too, I think. We're not exactly killing the people whose souls we collect. Sometimes they die naturally. In fact, this happens quite often in the cases that we deal with. More often than not, people are dying naturally. Occasionally, we'll have to step in because something goes wrong along the way and prevents them from dying when they're supposed to. But other than that, we're hands off. I am quite certain that a reaper didn't kill anyone in your family, love. K 
Could you describe them to me, then? Perhaps I know them. Maybe they truly have done something wrong. Bright red hair? Oh, yeah. Old man Sockcliffe himself. Oh, that's right. Sockcliffe prefers to be addressed as woman. Right. She killed your parents. When was this? All right. And what is your last name? Oh, dear. Yes, I'm afraid I've heard of that incident. If I recall, she didn't kill both of your parents. Only your mother, yes? Well, if it's any consolation, she has been punished for that. That was a clear violation of the rules. She was, in fact, working with another human at the time. I don't think it matters anymore who it was. She's long dead. I can understand how your experience with Sockcliffe has influenced your opinion on Reapers, but I assure you, we're not all bad. Take me as an example. When I bumped into you, I apologised and attempted to help you. I came here with you to try and avoid a scene. And I'm trying to reassure you right now that you're safe when you're with me. I feel the need to say this again because I can see from here that your muscles are tense, love. You're not relaxed and Considering we are strangers, that is perfectly reasonable. However, I know the only reason you're so tense is because of what I am. Look at me. Do you see a weapon of any kind? I can assure you, I didn't bring a death scythe to a party. Who in their right mind would do that? The scythe I use, it's quite noticeable. It would be out of place here. Even if I had planned to kill someone, which I didn't. I wouldn't have been able to be discreet about it here. Please, you can relax. I'm nothing like Sockcliffe, especially not in regards to murdering people. You really can't be sure. But you can trust me, can't you? Have it your way then, love. Shall I leave you here, or will you be returning to the party with me? No. You seem to have made your mind. Nothing I can say or do would change it. And that's perfectly fine with me. After all, it's unlikely that the two of us will meet again. And it's unlikely you'll run into another reaper until... It's time for you to die. No problem, love. 
I appreciate that you at least listened to me. Whether or not you paid attention to what I was saying, I can't be sure. But you listened. That much was clear. <laughs> well, I'm definitely not the worst. I can assure you of this. Sutcliffe is quite insane. William, uh, a nightmare, but he gets his work done and he does it properly, so better than nothing. And if I recall, there is one legendary Grim Reaper who collected several souls, more than I could even count. Even crying children would willingly give their souls to him. Apparently that's how good he is. Wouldn't know what he looks like, don't know his name. Hopefully you never have to meet him. <laughs> You're not so bad yourself either. Now, care to join me for a drink? All right, then. Come along, love. Let's return to the party before people get suspicious and think that we were up to something. It's no problem at all. Really. I'm glad I could meet someone who knows what reapers are. And if you don't mind my saying so, you really are quite clever for a human. If you encounter another reaper, I trust that you'll be safe. I mean, hell, you recognized what I was just by looking at my eyes and seeing my glasses. Quite impressive, I must say. <laughs> now, now, don't get cocky. I'm only joking. Come on, let's get you a drink, shall we? And would you mind if I spent the remainder of the evening with you? I'd love to hear more about your life. Not just your trauma, if you don't mind. Splendid. I guess we could call this a date, then. <laughs> <laughs> 